Today we're going to attempt to run every type of business property in The Sims 4 at one time. This is Mai. She already owns two rental properties which I basically gifted to her for free under the condition that she will run them and pay the bills for the rest of her life. <laughs> and she handled running both the trailer park and the five-star resort very well, I think. So now I pretty much want Mai to run the world. I'm going to gift to her the three other properties that we can currently own in The Sims 4, a restaurant, a vet clinic, and a retail store. This is going to be an experiment because I want to see if A, a sim can even handle running all of these at once, B, which ones are most profitable, and C, which ones are actually enjoyable to play. There are other side hustles that we could run, like Home Chef Hustle has a small side business you could run, but we're focusing here on the business properties. We want the big bucks. Mai is going to run an empire. If you're interested in watching the other two videos leading up to Mai's conglomerate, it. And if you're wondering where the heck did I get that super adorable cute dog, I will link those down below. Speaking of my dog, I actually just realized that Mai lives in this trailer up top here and she used to have a ladder leading up and Henry could just not get up there. So I had to replace the stairs. I need to buy him a bowl and a bed. And any of the money I have down below here was acquired from the rental properties. But let me show you the properties that Mai will be running today. This first one is our retail store and this is the biggest throwback ever. I built this two, maybe even three years ago now. I built it when Eco Lifestyle came out. When did Eco Lifestyle come out? June 5th, 2020, ooh, jump scare. So I built this to be a bike shop. This is actually so cute to see. I was wondering why this looked like a little weird. Like look at those chimneys up there. They're not actually real chimneys. It's because I think I tried to use mostly debug items in this build. Listen, 2020, I do not even know her, okay? But it is adorable. We have all of these bicycles here, which we can set for sale. Even coming inside, we have a bunch of bicycles on display. I built this back when I thought I was a terrible builder. And even looking back now, I love this. We have juice we can put on for sale. I even included a little bathroom in the back. Okay, so this is going to be our retail property. What should we call it biking with my no my sickle <laughs> okay we're going with that for now we're selling bicycles and juice but we can always expand as long as you have a cash register you can sell anything in this game and then for another throwback we have the greenhouse cafe this was intended for my bloom crest series but i never did get to play in it and it is such a beautiful lot like i can't wait to run this this one was a lot more recent but since it was built as a cafe, I had to make a couple changes here to make sure it would function as a restaurant. But like, how adorable is this? I actually went somewhere like this for my sister's birthday not too long ago, like a restaurant within a greenhouse, and it is such a vibe. Even have more seating out back. I did build this with a different storyline in mind, but this is a different universe, okay? If Marvel can do it, so can I. This is my vol. <laughs> and finally, the vet clinic is basically the best thing you've ever seen. Just kidding, it's just the one in Britain. Dilton Bay. I have actually never built a vet clinic in The Sims 4, probably because I go to the vet so often in real life, I'd rather not relive that in The Sims. And I've never run one before either, but for my, I will make an exception. So under this little business tab here, we can see all of the properties that we now run. And my strategy will be to try and focus on only one of them per day, because at the beginning here, we actually have to be on the lot to open the business. So I think we should head maybe over to to the retail store and we can start there because I feel like that's going to be the easiest. So in order to open the store, we have to transfer funds into our business account. I'm going to send over maybe like a hundred simoleons to start. Okay, that worked. Now we're able to open the store. But before we do, I have to actually set things for sale. All we have to do for that is click on set for sale. All of these ones in here are already set for sale, but I'm also going to set the juice for sale. Literally everything can be on sale. Maybe except for some of the decor because I really don't want to have to redecorate this. And we can see over here we have price markup. I'm going to set that to 100%. We also have the option to manage employees. Like I could hire someone to work the cash. But when I run retail businesses, I kind of like to just wait and see how it goes on my own. So let's go ahead and open the store. I always get kind of nervous when I open the businesses. I don't know why. Here come our customers. Oh, she just walked right in that door and out the other. <laughs> she is not interested in riding a bike. Let's greet our customers. Oh, she's back. Welcome. 
Oh, she did the same thing again. Mai is a very easy to get along with Sim. She makes friends like immediately. So you know what? She might be very good at this. There are also options under retail. Like I can suggest options. I can hype up the store. I'm gonna just start asking questions, I guess. And then we can move on to our next customers. As I do these interactions, we get perk points, which I can use to kind of like enhance the store. And she just got a pristine reputation, which is going to help us out a lot here. It says, friends will be more forgiving if she commits any social miscues. They won't be as quick to judge her. She can host charity benefit parties. I don't think I've ever had a sim reach that. Okay, we have a lot of customers. Like we literally just immediately came good friends with this customer here. Oh, there's so many people. This is such a small shop. While I have you all here, I'm just going to suggest a few options. You all walked here, didn't you? Well, how about we change that? Oh, you look so thirsty. That one matches your pants. I'm gonna try and close the deal with Siobhan, who we became besties with immediately. Let's see if that works. She's feeling super confident. We're going over here to close the deal. Come on, Siobhan. I know you want a bike. Oh, okay. I forgot. So above them, they have these meters. Once that meter gets to the top, then they're more likely to buy and then we can close the deal. This is where it would come in handy hiring an employee. Oh, we have a buyer. And once customers are ready to be rung up, they have a time limit. So this is also where an employee would come in handy. Mai is using her little tablet to ring her up. That juice only sold for 10 simoleons. Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay, we have another customer. I have to go to the bathroom real quick, but this customer here is ready. Please tell me you're not buying a $10 juice. You can also keep this business open as long as you want, by the way. Like I've had it before where I had Sims literally just living on the lot and keeping the business open at all times. The retail stores come with get to work, by the way, and I actually have so much fun running them. A hundred simoleons. Okay, we are getting somewhere, I guess. I'm gonna keep this open a little longer. Mai is getting very tired. To make more money eventually, we're gonna have to consider revamping our inventory. But hey, at least we're getting money throughout the week now, as opposed to the rental properties paying us once a week. Oh, we have another buyer and she looks so pastel in that outfit. And if she's buying this bike, it matches her so perfectly. Oh, she got this bike over here. Okay, fair. We're exhausted. I'm gonna close the shop. So the juice items, I guess, don't count, which is fine. 10 simoleons is nothing. But we sold two bicycles today, got 200 simoleons. We can do better. I know retail stores can be very profitable though, depending on what you're selling. So with a little inventory revamp and a couple employees, I think we could make this work. And tomorrow we're gonna try and run the restaurant. Oh my gosh, I just got home and we have a tenant rule violation. My energy is gone, but we have to go and take care of this. It's at three row Kaya, which is at the trailer park and they violated the no trash overload. There was literally one rule and you broke it. All right, let's go give them that fine. This is gonna be the hardest part, like taking care of the rental units while running all the businesses. We're gonna prosecute the fine. Listen, I am way too tired to deal with this, okay? Please just make this easy for me. She's issuing the fine. We had a little relationship hit, but we got our 600 simoleons. All right, please just let us go to bed. Come on, Henry. I need to buy a vacuum and clean this place up in the morning. It is so dirty. To be fair, we don't spend a whole lot of time here, but Henry deserves way better. The next morning. I'm gonna buy one of the cheaper vacuums here and we're cleaning this place up before we do anything this morning. We are not about to die of mold here, okay? We cannot have her die again. Also, Henry loves to cause problems. He's a troublemaker. So we do have to do a bit of training here. We cannot be drinking out of the toilet and we've been training him to go outside as well. We adopted Henry. He's a rescue from a pet adoption drive that happened, so he learned to pee outside. Good job, Henry. We are gonna make some breakfast, and then for today, I wanna head over to the restaurant. So for this one, we also have to transfer over the funds, and for this one, we have no way to get around it. We're gonna have to hire some Sims. This is a Barbie doll that I made, inspired by the Totally Hair 1992 Barbie, but I currently don't have custom content like that in my game. What an unfortunate fate for Totally Hair 1992 Barbie. Something also seems wrong here because there's no way these sims are working for zero simoleons an hour. But okay, we're gonna go ahead and hire Ava. She's gonna be 
our chef. We also need a host. Oh, Alice Martin. She is my favorite townie in the game. She's from Strangerville. I'm gonna hire her. And we need a waiter. Let's hire Sydney. They're the most qualified for the job. We have the same name. You're hired. I'm also gonna come into restaurant settings. And this is where we can do the price markup. We're going 300%. Advertising. I don't think I'm gonna pay for that yet. Oh yeah, we can set the restaurant menu. This is a greenhouse cafe. So I feel like I should have set it to all green things. We'll do some edamame, some peas, some garden salad. I also don't want these to be too difficult yet because we have to train our staff. So right now I'm aiming for items with level one difficulty. Microwave dinner is an option. I cannot. All right, so green items only on the menu except for our chicken nuggies. And I'm gonna set my employees to wearing all green as well. Wait, this outfit from Home Chef Hustle is adorable. These are so cute. I've never looked at the Home Chef Hustle cast. Same as these ones, look at the little raspberries. Like, why do I love this so much? I told myself I would never fall for the kitchen staff again. So our uniforms are all set. I think we're ready to open the restaurant. I did do some restaurant gameplay recently where I did like a kitchen nightmare sort of thing. So I'm hoping that we're gonna do well here. Here comes our staff. We have our host, our waiter, and we have our chef getting right to work. Oh God, and we have some customers already. Okay, I'm going to have my I be a very active member here. I want her to greet the customers, get them to like her, which should be no problem. And that's going to up the experience. I personally don't like when owners of restaurants do this. I remember in one restaurant that I worked in, the owner was so nice, but he would always go up to the tables and have like full on conversations with them to the point where he would sometimes even sit down with them like while they're trying to eat. And I'm like, can you just leave my table alone for a sec, please? That is going to be my. Also, I have this facing the wrong way. I feel like it should be the other way, but it's fine. It looks like Sydney has some orders already, which he's given to our chef. And actually this place looks really nice in action. Mai is hyping up our chef. These customers are already at four stars and Sydney is coming in hot with the food already. Mai is checking on the table that just got their food. Mai, you're hovering. You guys are hovering. Oh, we're getting some food served over here as well. This team is crushing it. I haven't even trained them yet or anything. This guy doesn't even need it. You're getting a praise and a raise, even though I'm not really paying you. Okay, everyone gets a raise. You are killing it. Oh wait, I think this is a restaurant critic. We need to shine to this guy. This is going to be priority number one. Oh my gosh, and he's already having a bad impression. Everyone else has had a great impression. And he's angry. Did we get like the worst restaurant critic ever? Come on, my work your magic. Ooh, okay, we've got it back up to three. He's stomping. Sir, why are you stomping? I really don't think that's necessary. And he goes to sit in like the furthest spot ever. Oh. A celebrity walked in. They like the atmosphere in here. Thank you so much. Sydney just took the restaurant critic's order and he's going to paint while he waits. I mean, in real life, this would be such a vibe. Yeah, just go paint in the garden while you're waiting for your food. It's next to the dumpster, but ignore that. Oh no, the celebrity brought her own food. I think we should probably prioritize the restaurant critic's food. Although at least now he's happy. Meanwhile, the rest of our customers are getting their food and they look like they love it. Let's go, Ava. You are such a pro. Except why are there veggie pizza roll-ups on the floor? I don't think we even serve those. I think that celebrity sim walked her way into the kitchen and made that herself. But I mean, she does have four stars above her, so I guess I won't complain. They're leaving as four-star customers. And of course, our restaurant critic is over here at two stars. This better be one heck of a meal. What did you get? Please enjoy your food. I mean, he ate it all in one bite. He gave us a three-star review. He says, dine here if you have a heart condition and must avoid excitement. Excuse me, the sass is out of control. In the meantime, I'm gonna sneak away to the kitchen and eat this food you left behind. I just need to turn this host table around. This is driving me nuts. Our rating increased up to three stars. I feel like we're doing so well. We have 10 reviews. This is running way more smoothly than the bicycle shop. And I feel like here, Mai gets to be so social. She is in her element, meeting new sims and talking to them every day. Alice Martin is starting to get tired from working so long. Understandable, it's been like 12 hours. 
please. So I think we should close up the restaurant after these last couple of people get their meals. Oh my God, a fairy. Yeah, Ava's starting to get tired. All right, let's shut it down. So after accounting for the cost of all our ingredients that we used, we ended up making 402 simoleons today. We got some pretty good reviews. We have the personal touch review here. What a fantastic owner you are. But we have a little bit of a bad review with the wait time. We can definitely hire more people here. And the service, we're gonna have to hire more people for that as well. But shout out to our staff. Day one went so well. And we also unlocked 820 perk points, which we can use to actually hire more people and increase the quality of the ingredients. There's also the option to get customers to tip more. If only this existed when I worked in a restaurant in real life. All right, good job team. We are gonna go home to the trailer park. People are leaving with great reviews. Let's get out of here. We are probably so tired after that. And actually I'm gonna use some of our money to upgrade the trailer park a little. I like having the fire pit here, but I think I wanna add a bit of a nicer one with chairs so you can sit around it. And I also think I wanna add a little more lighting around. So I'm adding these here from City Living, just kinda lightening the place up a little bit. So I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna light the fire here. I've invited some of our trailer park tenants out to hang out and this is adorable. We definitely don't have as much to do here as we do at the resort, but they can still have a cute little night out here. And actually I think tomorrow is love day because I'm seeing all of the love like decorations all over the trailer park. Actually, I lied. The hearts are all over Wayne's trailer. For someone who goes by Wayne the Boulder, he is not as tough as he appears to be. It has started to rain, ruining our cute little fire. It's like one in the morning. Mai is so tired. So I think we should probably call it for the night because tomorrow we have to attempt to run the vet clinic. Is Wayne up here doing my dishes? That was such a nice gesture. I think he knows how hard we're working and maybe he's just trying to help us around the trailer park a little more. Today's the day that we have to try and run a vet clinic. I have no idea how to run this. We're going to open up the vet clinic settings. Ooh, okay. I have no problem marking up prices all the way for Sims, but for pets, different story, but I gotta do it. 200%, we're not gonna do any advertising yet. And these vet uniforms remind me of vet Barbies, so we're keeping those. We have to hire some employees and this is not bugged like dine out, but I'm still gonna try and hire the best person qualified for the job, which this person is wearing a literal cat hoodie. There's just no other option here. So it looks like we're only able to hire one vet for now. Let's hope that's good enough. I have no idea how this is gonna go. So let's go ahead and open the business. Wait, who are you? I totally expected her to show up in the hoodie, but she didn't. I think I'm gonna have to set the uniforms to wear that cat hoodie after this. Oh, and we have our patient. Oh my gosh, I cannot mess this up. We need to get you fixed up immediately. We have the option to greet the patient warmly. So we're absolutely doing that. Blue has been looking a bit sickly lately. Can you examine her? Of course. Anything you want. Oh my gosh, Mai. Mai changed into a vet uniform. Wait a second. I do not think I'm qualified for this. Are there like skills that we can raise first at least? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Blue is getting on. Oh my God. What do I do? What do they do at the real vet? Okay. We're going to try and exam the patient. Let's listen to breathing. Mai is a woman of many talents all of a sudden. She just acquired the vet skill. Oh no. So I'm seeing a whole list of treatments here and I'm assuming that the more we examine the patient, the more we're gonna unlock the treatments that they need. So let's go keep doing this. Eye exam. You're gonna be okay, Blue. I promise. I'm not even checking any of the other patients. <laughs> oh, but she is over here at the same time. Okay, good. Well, this one clearly has fleas. They got the easy one. Oh, poor Blue. Come on, Maya, you're smart. You can figure this out. <laughs> The little head pat. This is running so smoothly over here and our pet owner is kind of losing it. We figured out the treatment. We need the fix it all treat, which is just like a little cookie. Oh my gosh, we did it. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty satisfying. And we reached level two. We cured a sickness. Blue is feeling so much better. They no longer have the little red nose. She should be feeling better now. Oh, this is so rewarding. And we get money here from the treatments that we do. Okay, I see. Oh no, our next patient is a Boston Terrier named Asparagus. 
stop. I think that's a Boston, although mine don't have tails. <laughs> Look at this little one. Something is wrong with my little girl, Asparagus. That's the cutest name I've ever heard. Come on in, little Asparagus. Imagine calling this dog's name. Someone out there has to have a real dog named Asparagus. Asparagus here has little red dots around his paws, so let's maybe do a skin or fur inspection. And in the meantime, this cat over here has gotten better as well. And this time up here, we have like exam results and we found out that he has hot feet. We also have dry eyes. I am so good at this. Here's a little treat for you. Oh, he's a little reactive. We gotta calm him down a little. <gasps> we did it. Yes, my. Oh, we have another one coming in. Wait, wait, wait your turn. Our treatment can be the parasite killer spray. Here you go, little one. Here you go, asparagus. Yes, level three. Oh, we're crushing it. Next. I think I've just hired the absolute right people for the job all across the board, other than the retail store. I think this girl has been here multiple times because she owns like a lot of cats. It's okay, vet my to the rescue. You clearly have fleas. We are gonna do a skin and fur inspection. He is not liking this at all. I don't blame him. Yes, you also have the parasite killer spray. This is an entire part of cats and dogs that I've never experienced. And I feel like it could get a little repetitive, but I'm having fun, I won't lie. I am probably a little biased, but still. It also feels a lot easier to manage. Like customers have kind of been coming in one at a time. So it's not really overwhelming. Like compared to the other businesses that I've run, this one goes the most smoothly. Considering I had literally no experience prior to this, like this dog had winter fest fever, honestly, same. <laughs> also our employee over here has been managing on her own the best out of all of these businesses. She's an absolute natural at this job. She is getting a raise. We're gonna take one more patient here. Look at that scarf. I've got your treatment and we are a level four. How many levels are there? We're gonna bill the owner and then we're gonna shut this down. We are going to praise this girl and give her a raise. We just wiped out hard. And we're going to close this down. We made over a thousand simoleons today. This is by far the most profitable. For our reviews, they're saying that we could definitely add better furnishings, which that's on EA. I didn't build this one. And they're saying we should probably lower the price, which fair. We got excellent wait times. We only have a 1.5 like, star review, but this is the most profitable by far. And in my opinion, the most rewarding. <laughs> Stellar job today, ladies. I think it's time to go home. Oh my God. And we're going to have to fire a workplace report because that looked pretty painful. Oh my God. This puddle is deadly. Just make it home safely. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just loaded onto the lot and we have Wayne and Henry here waiting for us. I seriously need to shower, but it is probably so nice to see these two. Wayne and T are actually having another fire out here and we're starving. So we're gonna come over and maybe roast some hot dogs. I love how everyone at the trailer park has just become so close as well. I don't wanna jinx it, but I've had no phone calls from the five-star resort and the romance here between Wayne and my has been undeniable. They have not even been trying to hide it lately. And to close off Love Day, I decided to send them off on their first date in Tomerang, which ended up going so well. These two got along so much better than I expected them to in the beginning. I could see us having to find a new tenant for his unit very soon. It's the weekend today and Mai slept in. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. She just woke up and went to the fridge to make some lunch. So I decided I would take the day off and transfer some funds over from the business. Now that I've got a little more money, I'm gonna spend it to upgrade my house. I'm getting rid of some of the scratches on the walls. I think we are definitely due for a new bed. Maybe we can get this one. I'm also gonna get a new couch, like maybe that one. And I'm going to get new appliances as well. Pretty much anything is going to be an upgrade at this point. So I'm gonna maybe grab this fridge here and we'll get the matching oven. I'm also gonna buy some toys for Henry, like maybe a little ball. And you know what? We can upgrade our chair too. Even just applying those upgrades made this place look so much better. I don't want to spend it all. I have to be careful. I do still have bills. So I think we're going to end this here for today. It is totally possible to run all of these businesses at the same time in The Sims 4. It's kind of nice that you can manage when each one is opened. So it's not like they're all opened at once. We also put in a lot of work to the rental lots already, which is why we didn't have as many problems with them. But I think if we opened those all up at the same time, this would be a whole different story. And I would love to attempt to bring all of these businesses to five stars. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't seen the videos where we try and bring the rental properties up to five stars or where we ran the trailer park, I'll link those down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.